Welcome back, members of Wolf Pack. It's your boy Grey Wolf. We're back with another episode of Rise of Ronin. So, yesterday I ran around and did some more side missions like I usually do. And one of the things that caught my eye when I was doing these side missions was the whole pro Shogunite and anti Shogunite factions. I was like, oh, I think I'm going to do some. Hold on, let me take care of these dudes right quick. One of them, one of them doesn't notice me. Oh, I wonder if I can do the running back attack on him. The running. Oh, it didn't work right. Anyways, I was like, okay. I want you to have it. Appreciate it, my boy. I was like, I think I'm gonna start doing some of the pro Sugar Knight quests. Now, why did I say that? Uh, why did I, why did that come to my mind? Because as I'm doing the anti Sugar Knight quest, I started to really think about it and like what both of their agendas was. The anti Sugar Knights are trying to stop Japan from opening up his borders. The Sugar Knights are opening up the borders with America. They're, they're the people that's talking with America, trying to open the borders up and trying to actually communicate with America and get in. Granted, we know how that all went out and we know America uh, was pretty slimy with a bunch of stuff going on, but they're the ones trying to open the border, trying to create a partnership. The anti shogunate trying to keep it pure Japan as what's going on with it. They don't want any of the Western influence, that much of the Western influence like that. They want to keep it away. And I was like, man, that just sounds kind of stupid. And it was getting to the point, the point that I was doing. Oh, what is this? I was doing certain quests and when I was doing some of these side quests, it was like real bad, like to the point where there was a dude in one of the quests. He didn't do anything bad necessarily. He just helped out the pro Sugar Knight people. And this one dude just was like, no, we got to kill him because uh, one of my one of my options was, hey, do we have to kill him? And he's like, no, we have to kill him because he decided to work with them. Like, So he's trashed us for, for working with the Americans. And the other dude that was helping was like, was kind of like, dang, like, why do we have to kill him? Like, can we just mess with him or something like that and then reprimand him and let it be done like why do we have to kill him just because he worked with them like he hasn't done anything wrong he hasn't harmed us and that's the thing too like they're not harming anybody the pro sugar knight is just trying to open the border up to make a uh, fair trade and stuff like that from what i'm gathering what i understand now i could be completely wrong but for what i'm gathering what i understand that's what's going on and now we're about to kill them for that question mark and, and that's where I'm at with it. And this part, these things, these side mission things confuse me too. So the photographs, the cats, the fugitive, all those little side things you can do. That's like a sub quest. You can come back and see how many you collected. Like I have 33 fugitives that I killed. I think I have to kill 50 fugitives for a trophy. I think 50 might be the max of them. I think the cats, there's 100 cats, and I think there's like 44 uh, photos. Either way, this is the guy you go to so you can collect rewards, but you still have to pay for the rewards. And that's the part that I'm like, what? Like, why am I not getting an award for killing a certain many? You're just unlocking it so now I can purchase the next level of it, but I still have to pay for it. That doesn't make any sense. That these should be just be automatically unlocked when I catch enough fugitives, not me, making me have to pay for it too. But Best whatever. Out there. Let me check this trade, dude. To have your patronage. No, they don't, they don't ever have anything I want. I guess I'll buy some of this bundles. So I only have six of them. Yeah, but they don't, they don't ever really have anything I want for real. So on, I, I usually don't even care about these guys. That's why I don't go to traders that much in race because since this game is a big looter, we'll say looter shooter, it I don't have to worry about trying to buy equipment for real. Like, I'm gonna find a piece of equipment in a quest that's stronger than the piece of equipment I have now. Probably within the next quest or within two quests, I'm gonna find something that's stronger than what I already have. So, unless you're upgrading your equipment to, to the max level, you, it's gonna be better. But, anyways, I was gonna start doing the pro sugar night stuff, but. This is the only main mission I can do. So you have to play spring. both sides of the ball I in this game, is looking like. Trees. Or at least they're going to make you do it at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then you let you choose. And who might you be? Uh, well, 
if you insist. My name is Yukichi Fukuzawa. I am a samurai from Nakatsu. I am working for the shogunate while I complete my studies. And this here is Ernest Sato. He's a British interpreter. Pleased to meet you. Fukuzawa-san was just teaching me more of his marvelous language. Oh, I fear I have very little left to teach you. It is I whose language skills are lacking. I must learn English. Tell me, what brings you here? Your mama. <laughs> of course. But keep it brief. Okay. You notice I changed my outfit up again too. General Harris. Well, hold on one minute. What do you want with him? His life was threatened just the other day, you know. I'm certainly not going to lead a perfect stranger directly to his door. Why, just look at you. You might very well be an assassin. I should assassinate you. Oh, <laughs> time for some persuasion. Hmm. I won't pretend to understand your motivations. I'm about to change my outfit up again to be like a like a businesswoman type jank and just assassinate niggas on that. Nikas. N I K K A A. They couldn't do much if you were there. You are a master martial swordsman, after all. Okay. Very well. I'm not convinced, but I will do as you wish. The consul is in a temple near the Kanagawa post. I still haven't eaten anything there. Fukuzawa-san will show you precisely where. Hold on. Do you not intend to accompany us? Attacks on foreigners in that particular area are on the rise. I will remain here. You should have no trouble, however. Mm. Well, I suppose you're right. I'll go ahead and see how things are looking. Meet me at the Kanagawa post. Hey, Cat Quest Tree about to come out next month, I think. So, That's, I'm going to have to play that. I'm going to have to play it. You know, I like me some Cat Quest. I played the first two. Let me see what quest this dude has here. We'll take it on as a side quest. It's a bonding mission. Oh, this is the black. This is the dude that was selling us stuff that, that, we, that we saved, I think. You will have access to coal in Japan. You shall never need to worry about fuel again. So that's the only part I don't like about the American things. Them, them being slimy. I don't like the slimy stuff. I mean, but that's a lot of countries that do that when they try to do partnerships and stuff. Trying to rip people off and whatnot. And obviously, America tried to rip yeah. off Japan yes. from the beginning, just like they would try to rip off any other country that just aren't open to trade from the beginning. Commodore, this is my, excuse me, our friend I was telling you about. It's thanks to them we were able to secure the coal. Mark my words, your fame is about to far exceed your brother's. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to. Till next time. He looks like the dude that was on the ship that we fought. He's probably his, that's probably his brother. Oh, no, that is the guy. Matthew Perry is the guy, if I remember right. Yes, my brother too commanded a ship, fighting off the British. But sickness claimed him young. But I wouldn't be able to see him again. Never mind that. I remember your face, you know. <laughs> no need for alarm. Your partner told me all about you. You're somewhat surprised, I'll wager. But it's true. I rescued your partner. And fear not. What is past is past. Yeah, he's definitely do we for it. Well, if you wish to balance your ledger. I've got some work you can take on. My men seem to have got into the habit of brawling with expulsionists in port. I want it stopped. If we fought them openly, our standing with your great nation would suffer. But there need to be consequences. What do you say? 
Would you kindly give a taste of justice to those expulsionist thugs for me? And listen. I know you people are warriors and all, but I don't want a bloodbath. That's in nobody's interest. Should there be casualties, I fear we shall become even more unwelcome. Do what you can, you hear? It's funny because this is like, I don't remember the timeline. I think it's like 18 something. Yeah, I think this is just like the 1800s is what this is. I don't think the timeline is on this encyclopedia. Um, this is 17s. We definitely not in the 17s. 18th and 19th century. I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to see where I can actually find it. Because all, all these things keep mentioning, like, the past stuff, and I'm not worried about, like, the 16th century, because we're definitely not in the 16th century. Does it say my same thing about it here? Why is there no dates mentioned in any of the characters? But I'm pretty sure it's the 18th century. It's, it's, uh... And this is the building partnership thing, but here we are in the 21st century. I believe we're in the 21st century, yeah. Um, and we're still not really welcomed here in Japan. Because like he said, I, I feel like if, if we keep doing these brawls, we're not going to be welcomed. Well, we're still not really welcomed by everybody. So we're, we're still visitors. So whenever an incident happens, whenever something happens in general, like everything's an uproar. Talk to the well-known individuals to give us information on your plate. I even know I had this quest. I probably could have knocked it out. Though. Where, where's the quest that he just gave me? Oh, it's this quest. The peace negotiations. Okay, so this is a main. No, this, this is a bond quest. This is the real quest, and this is the bond quest. All right, let's do the bond quest, and then we'll also do the main quest. But yeah, we, so every time, every time any incident happens, it's, it's it's a it's a big deal. The only thing that gets annoying about it, and I and I get it, we're in a foreign country, so we have to respect their rules and i'm very respectful don't give me like i said i walk around i learn the culture learning the language and things of that nature interacting with the people so i'm not complaining about any of that i am very respectful when it comes to the way the the thing that anybody i would believe would find very weird is the implementations that get put on us because you're foreign like certain taxes that get put on. i'm sure this probably happens in america to uh foreigners as well certain taxes that are levied on you that are not common taxes to the people or certain ways you are treated that the locals are not treated even if even if you aren't doing anything wrong so let's say we're over here and uh let's say you get a dui well the locals get duis like crazy but when you get DUI as a former foreigner it's a huge deal and it's another reason for them wanting to push you out like look this is what keep happening your people keep getting duis in my country put my people at risk and we'll say let's get let's say we get let's say we get one dui on, on the weekend all right they'll they'll complain about it pretty well which reasonably so like you're getting dui is very unsafe and nobody should be drinking and driving i don't drink in general so i'm always telling people they can just call me up and i'll pick them up anywho you put somebody's life in danger so i completely understand the why they'd be upset but on the other the flip side of it we get that one dui on the weekend they get six DUIs on the weekend. So your own people are putting your own people's life in danger, but you're not making a huge uproar about it. But when one of us puts your life in danger, it's a huge uproar because we're not one of you. Do I understand it to an extent? Yes, I definitely understand it to an extent, but it's also like, hey man, let's hold everybody accountable. Let's, let's not just keep picking on us and trying to push us out. Well, let's hold everybody accountable. All right, let me do this fight now. And you just see what you want. Oh, look at this one. You one of their pals? Never seen him. What do you want? Excuse me. These barbarians have been terrorizing the local fishermen, and we won't stand for it. Of course. Not everybody's gonna, everybody's gonna blame everybody. You filthy liar. We were just teaching them about the good old U.S. of A. 
You're just looking for excuses to pounce on. That also sounds like something that they would do, the USA would do. Oh, everything's going to a fight no matter what. I could try to persuade, but who cares? I'm just fighting there and neither side, so I'm punishing everybody. Give me all the experience. What? what are you thinking, pal? Who do you think you are, you jumped up meddler? It's high time someone taught you a lesson. Hey, I became the enemy for everybody. Give me all five yeah, of them. Take this sitting down. I'll knock the damn teacher out. And he came through the hard thrust. Not all my stuff, no way. So, so I get rid of him, I think everybody else will be easier. Okay. Yeah, he was pretty much the toughest one. I'm glad this one stance is, is enough for everybody, too. See, no bloodshed. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's probably the main guy for them, which makes sense because he's the one talking. You're doomed, brother. You're doomed, and my proficiency went up. This game is fun. And it's really fun, and it's really I like beating up people. So. All right. I can't believe you took them all out. The samurai and the Americans both. Hey, man. I'm here just putting the hands down on people. I need that outfit. The foreigners were just asking about our whaling techniques. They even said they'd show us some of their wrestling moves in return. They weren't causing any trouble to no one. Which is about when those expulsionists do that muscles. The wrong end of the stick. And you know what happened next. And just like how he's saying some some things actually do turn out just like that like like i was saying like how the anti shogunite dudes they're just so against open and trade they'll find whatever reason and just make up reasons to like pick a fight because they just do not want people around so like you can just be out minding your own business and they come bumping into you and they're like oh you're not gonna say excuse me it's like what like bro like i'm sitting down you walk past and bump into me how my why do, why do I need to say excuse me or whatever? Like, oh, now you're being rude. Look at the rude American trying to do stuff, trying to think because he's big. Like, like what is going on here? Just because they just want to pick something and they want to make you seem in the bad light, and it's crazy that it happens. But that's why you need people like this to come defend you. Like, hey man, they weren't doing nothing. They were just sitting here chilling, and then you did all this. So this person is we're trying to look out for you as well. See, they, they wasn't really looking out for you because he was helping you, so. Well, better you than the other group handing out the beating. I think they're still up to something, those expulsionists. I heard a fellow talking with one of those expulsionists somewhere. Something about persuading the court's big shots to mm -hmm. stop trading with other countries. See? Si. And if that happens, those foreigners will have to leave, won't they? It just doesn't sit right with me. See? That's exactly what they The expulsionists are trying to expo, ex, expel, expo, expel people out of the country because they don't want them there. But by doing so, it also just tarnishes trade in the way. Oh, we got, we got another quest too. It also just like pushes trade away and stuff like that, like for the country. Like it's, it's not good for the country in a way. Because we're trying to help the country out by opening up the borders, opening up trade. But it's, this is like it's like that in a bunch of countries. That that if you look back in history, a lot of them did not want to open their borders to foreign trade because they didn't want foreign influence. They didn't want to lose their culture, which is all all very good reasons. Like I I, I like my culture. We like our culture, but it's, sometimes it's blind reasons too. Like it's a it's a it's a controlling tactics in a way. And obviously, I'm not gonna get super political with it, but by not opening up things so that your people can experience uh, other sides of things and more of the world, you, you're leaving your people blind and susceptible to being taken advantage of. Because now somebody can just run in and say some nonsense that they don't know about because they, they've never experienced it in their life. Where is this quest? Okay, it's over here. 
they've never experienced in their life. So they have no idea how to deal with it when it comes up. That's why it's good to have to be world traveled or to have friends from different countries and stuff like that to learn different things. So that way, like you don't fall for easy traps. That's, that's why there's so many. If you go visit other countries, there's so many uh, tourist traps and stuff like that, because you don't know. And since you don't know, it's easy to trick you. It's easy to get you to buy certain things or do certain things because you just don't know. So let me. Oh, here we go. One of these things. I don't know. I don't know why they keep making. See these things, the quest. I'm cool with little side quests, but it just re this game is a is a bunch of rinse and repeat. And my and my boy's talking about it too. But that's kind of how it always is with like this, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, which Ghost of Tsushima two is coming out eventually, and uh, like um, Assassin's Creed stuff when you do the collectible stuff. Everything's the same rinse and repeat. Like, you talk to this dude, he leads you over here, and there's a bunch of guys gonna jump me. It's like it's like wow, so original, bro. Like you, you're the you're like the fifth person to do this to me now. He's the strongest one. Oh, oh I missed that ass. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Sorry. One pinch to my, one pinch to my health. Ah, oh, why push so quick? So I'm getting a little better at the, at the timing on it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, I don't know why I took that. I was out of battle. I, I would have just, I would have healed anyways from being out of battle. But all in all, I like experiencing other coaches. I like learning about other coaches. One of my big things, like, I like to experience new. So if another coach can, when I interact with somebody in another culture or I talk to a woman of another culture and stuff like that, I want to learn about the food, the dance, how not to be, uh, how how to be polite? How, like what am what am I supposed to do here? I don't want to feel like I'm an outsider. I found no trace of Harris himself. Where could he be? When the Americans first arrived, they transformed the temple into their first consulate, and so began the whispers that a cholera epidemic could be traced back to this town. Needless to say, these are entirely groundless rumors. Okay. Agreed. It would be a tragedy if anything were to happen to him. Let's get moving. I rambled on a bit there. Yeah. Over here. Mm, excuse me. The temple of Hongakuji was built approximately 600 years ago. Hongakuji. I think I can write that one too. H-O is one kanji symbol. N is a kanji symbol. Ga is a kanji symbol. Ku is a kanji symbol. And G is a kanji symbol. So there's, they're all uh, a little different there. That corpse appears to have been a local resident. Oh, Hinagami. I don't say kanji. Hiragana. Their own countrymen? It is one thing to hate the West, but this is wanton violence. I see that's Why what he's... are those wretches so utterly repulsed by the unfamiliar? See, I know I talked a little bit while he was talking. That reason and understanding are far more present in Western society than in our own homeland. I see, he, he would probably be killed for speaking the way he's speaking right now. Uh, like that, and that, and that's kind of how it is, and exactly how you were talking about. Like, why? Like, you're killing your own people. You're not even just killing the Americans. You're killing Japanese people because they want to open the border. Like, because you're so against opening the border up that you're willing to just kill your own people for that. And it's just like he said, like, unlike the Americans who like will listen to reason sometimes if it's if it's if it's good for them. Basically, like, if it's something in it for them, they'll listen to reason. Like the Japanese in, in this era, era won't even listen to reason, even if it's good for them. Like I can be about to save your life from a illness and you're like, no, I don't want that foreign medicine. I don't want those foreigners in the medicines and this. And it's like like they're they're disgusting and they're not, they're not normal. And it's like, what? 
It's like they're human beings like you're human beings and they're giving us medicine just like we have too. They just advance their medicine further. He's probably still somewhere in this vicinity, don't you think? Doubtless, he is being pursued by expulsion of samurai. Though killing him would serve little purpose at this stage. Either way, we must find where the consul is hiding. Okay, I'll take care of this. Very good. Now, I have no doubt that his pursuers will be in an agitated state. Let's have a good nose around and see if we can't find any clues as to Consul Harris's location. All right, now that uh, now that I already did the quest without people, I can do the quest with people. Oh, none of these people are, are able to join because they're anti. All of them are anti shogunites He can join because he doesn't have a faction. Let me see if it does. If it says it anywhere. So it doesn't necessarily say that he is anti shogunite but I do obtain more money when defeating enemies when I when I have him with me. All right, that's fine. I'm I'm completely fine with that. And one of these days we'll get freaking uh Forte to jump in here. All right, let's take a stroll. Optional to defeat the two no formidable way. enemies. I'm gonna defeat him. But this is probably see you see that that mark over there. I actually came over here. Like le legit, not too long ago. What's that marker there? The treasure chest is here. Is that that's probably why I couldn't find the treasure chest? But I had the, this mark over here because there's supposed to be a treasure chest over there that I can go to. And I went in there and checked out the treasure chest. And there's no chest in there, and that's it's probably why because it's probably over here. But that's that's what it, that's what it was telling me the chest was at. Mm, my, my my voice cracking. Damn it! Try to run up on him and assassinate him. That run up on assassinate thing on that side has only worked work once for me so far. There are some dubious types here, but no sign of Consul Harris. Okay, so there's five areas I have to go to, and then there's two optional formidable foes. I'm gonna find them, and I'm gonna beat them up too. I don't know if you get like more money. I don't know what happens with that. I think I still got my wooden sword on. I do still got my wooden sword on. I got my, I still got my wooden stuff on. Let's let's put my real deal stuff on. He's the formidable one. Nanda. Bro, dropping like flies. We are doing fight him. Come here. Get over here! Oh, I pushed her way too early. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. Dang, bro. You had to put your foot in me like that. Look at you. Mmm, dead. D E D. Dead. Alright. Cause y'all, y'all kinda no help. That's one formidable foe down. Now we need to find the other one. Who I'm assuming we're gonna run into no matter what. If we gotta run around to five different areas. I think un unless we just find him, uh, not necessarily automatically, but if we, if we wind up finding him, I think the areas are gonna go away. We'll go to this area because there's, ch there's a chest up there. And that chest is actually the last thing I need to fully unlock this area. So we'll get that chest and whatever is up here.
never saw it coming. He's scared. He's in a panic state. I'm just two guys right here. One of them probably a former Nope. Oh, Bro got laced. about to try to kill you where's the last dude that where's my maybe the chest is in here probably a guy in here too yeah Head up out of here now. Like I, I don't want to complete it without doing that that second optional one. All right, let's head over here because it might. I feel like he, he's in here because this place has a little like a, not necessarily a hidden place, but there's some stuff going on over here in this thing. Like, yeah, the quest actually stops right. Well, that's probably one of the hidden. Things. Let me see if it's some people around here because I know I know how to get into this house because I've already been here and I don't see any people because you, you gotta get into this place this wasn't here before yeah but you get in through here and there's a door that was shut and that's probably what it is that that door was shut and that's where the treasure chest was at, I think. So let's go to this other one and see what we see over there first. Cause I want to kill that that formidable foe before we do anything. Formidable. Okay, so he's this in here. Send a message right quick. Let's go here. Oh, one thing too, right? Once I was running around doing my little trophy collections and stuff like that, the one of the trophies is to kill a person with every weapon, right? Yeah, lucky. Yeah, lucky, bro. That dude sitting down is probably definitely the formidable enemy, by the way. That's the dude that's in there that's sitting down. But uh, one of the trophies is to kill somebody with every type of weapon. You don't have to kill him with a weapon. I, I put on, like, one. I, the last weapon I had to kill somebody with was uh, uh, Odachi. I put the weapon on so I can kill him with it. Come here. And then I, I assassinated somebody. Right after assassinating them, the trophy pop. I was like, "What? Like, I, ain't, I didn't even kill the guy with the weapon. So why? Why would the trophy pop?" Yeah, just a formidable enemy. Come here. Oh, I couldn't get him. Huh. 
Okay, that should have pulled him. Dang. You got mixed, player. I ain't never we playing a, a fighting game. You got mixed. So he's not here either. Which is fine. We didn't want him to be here. Because we have one more area to check. And I, I, I knew he was probably in that area because I luckily I already came here before doing my regular wandering. So that actually helped me out a lot. Especially since, and since there was no enemies in this area, that also kind of like hinted at like, okay, maybe this is where he's at. These just be popping up anywhere. Don't rush. Take your time. Excuse me. I don't even use these healing elixirs. I use the other elixirs all the time. I probably do need to use them though, because I think they heal a few for more. Anyways, he's probably right in. See, it tells me it's telling me to go this way, but there's nothing else here. And the chest chest I think was in this. Like you see me beating on this. See now I can open this door. I could I could open this door up before. How did you get in here? Oh, never mind. You will not touch the concept. We must make him put his sword away. Ooh. Oh, that was good. I like that. Can we get a sword and shield too? You seem very sure of yourself. Oh wow. Now it's time to run up your sleeve. Another that attack. I cannot time that right. I feel like the, the poison procs so slow on this thing, like the build up. There we go. The build up is slow, slow for stuff that it's just crazy. I do not know who you are, but I will not allow you to lay a finger on him. Wait a second. You're Jules Brunet, the French officer. It's me, Yukichi Fukuzawa. I remember. We met at the Grand Villa. But what are you doing here? Mr. Sato asked me to come here to speak to the Consul. Is he to be found here? Fear not, Consul. They are friends. I thank you, good sir. <laughs> Where would I be without the French? What in the world? How are you still alive? I've had just about enough of your harassment. Why would I believe that? Look, I don't know who hired you, but I guarantee I can pay double. Chill out, bro. Oh, you mean that other bodyguard that couldn't kill you? Um, I suppose I did see the two of you having a chat. How about this? You take care of some scoundrels. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'll tell you what I know about them. <clears throat> oh, we'll have a good trick in. And forced to flee the temple. Until they are dealt with, we are stuck here. 
One of the things that uh, no sense in fighting every last one of them. is laughable about people in high positions is they think that people respect their high positions. And I think that's always laughable. You see it in movies and mangas, animes, cartoons, manhwas, video games, uh, novels, books, like anything. Right, whenever it's like noble people that's in high positions that accounts, discounts, uh, dukes and stuff like that. They're so used to people respecting their position that when you don't respect their position, kings, uh, cult leaders, stuff like that, they're so used to everybody respecting their position that when you don't respect their position, it's like super, I would say put offish to them. But it's, it's it's like a, it, it, it uh I'm trying, I'm trying to think of what, like what am I trying to say here like it's not that they rub it does rub them wrong rub them the wrong way and stuff like that but it uh it, it, they're taken back by it they're taken aback by it like super taken back by it because like they, they they don't even know how to to deal with it because like oh, how dare you not how, how dare you not bow for the cult leader or how dare you not bow for the king when he comes in it's like nigga he he, he ain't my king. He, he might be y'all king and it might be respectful for me to bow but like i bow to no man like he's he's not my king oh she, she's not my queen he's not my cult leader he's not my duke stuff like that it, it may be and they always think that people are going to respect their position in the sense of like oh how could you dare lay your hands on the prince when i'm like i'm the prince of the, of the empire and you dare lay your hands on me are you not scared of the consequences it's like brother i don't live here i don't know anything about here nor do i care and not even that like you started this but the rules are so convoluted for, for stuff like that that like the prince started the fight and tried to do something crazy and uh now i have to adhere to it like i have to be the one to apologize for it. i want to short and shield Oh, I got stand stamina. I have to be the one to apologize for for him trying to make me feel bad. That's crazy. Uh, a bigger a bigger uh, thing. The Imperial Dragons from freaking um, One Piece. How they just catching people and they doing whatever they want to do to, to to people in the show, and no one's supposed to fight back about them or or have any opinion about them. And then Luffy did what he did to one of them, punched him in the face. Like no, no one's keeping them in check. But yeah, this was this is a cool video, and I guess now we have to play the pro Sugar Knight side and the, the anti Sugar Knight side. So hey, thank you. Appreciate it, my boy, and I will catch y'all in the next one.